So the last video in our surface area series involves composite shapes. A composite shape is a shape like the one we have here. It's made up of multiple simple 3D shapes. So for example, in our picture, you will see a rectangular prism on the bottom and then a rectangle, excuse me, square because it's a four by four. So a square prism on the bottom and a square pyramid on the top. So usually with the simple shapes, I tell you to draw a net first. Composite shapes are a little bit harder to net out. So instead of drawing a net, I would recommend just drawing each individual shape and going from there. So I notice that sometimes people forget shapes. So to help us not do that, we're gonna outline each shape as we go. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start at the very, very top and work, the, work my way down. So the thing with surface area is it's just what's on the outside. So this right here, the base of our pyramid and one of the bases of our prism, we're not gonna worry about this shape, only what's on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna start with my triangles. So you may notice right here, I have a triangle. That triangle has a slant height of three and a base of four. And if I count, there's one, two behind it, three in the very back, and then four right here up front. So there are four of those shapes. Next, I am gonna look at this rectangle that I have right here. So that one is five, the height by four. So if I count, there's one there, two to the side, three in the back, and four up front. So there's four total of that shape. One more is this shape right here, that square that makes up the base. So we are only doing the ones on the outside. So if you picked up this shape, the ones you'd be able to touch. So there's only one of those, right? Because we're not counting the one up here. Now that I have all of my shapes picked out, I'm gonna go ahead, find the area of each, and then multiply it accordingly. So up here on my triangle, I have four times three divided by two, which gives me six. So one triangle is six units squared. I have four of them. It gives me a total of 24 units squared. My next shape is this rectangle. It's a five by four, so that gives me 20 units squared for one. There's four total, 20 times four is 80 units squared. Last one is that square. It's a four by four, which is 16 units squared. There's only one of those, so that gives me 16 units squared. My last step, just like all the others, is to add them all up. So that gives me 120 units squared as my answer. All right, so that's it for this video. Go ahead, back to the class website. Practice on those quiz problems to get ready to take to retake the unit test for its objective. Good luck.